Hey everyone, how are you today? It's Marla. This is going to be a super fast drive-by review because my sun is about to set in the sky and I won't have any lighting that's going to work for me. I am not a one of these big gun kind of YouTubers that has all this equipment and these special lamps with special filters. I have my camera, my computer, and two desk lamps, and that's pretty much it for me. This is kind of a, just a little hobby for me, just to kind of occupy my time. I enjoy editing videos. I've always enjoyed film and being creative, and it's just kind of fun. So for me, it's it's just not really something that I I do, do as a business, and it's just it's just fun. I just enjoy it. I enjoy sharing my perceptions of products or new things I find out with anybody who's willing to listen to me on YouTube. And I have made some really nice connections with some wonderful women. So it, it has been really a lot of fun for me. But anyway, to get down to business, this is a my perceptions. And let me kind of explain in case someone is new to my videos. Most of my videos are what I call my perceptions videos. That means how does this product relate to me? And how or if or when or do I find this product to have any importance in my life? I don't really do anything other than give you a description of the product, what it looks like on me, on my skin, and kind of how I feel about it personally, why I like it, why I don't like it. And in that respect, you can kind of take from it kind of what you want and see if it's something you might be interested in. But the product I'm going to be talking about today is, to me, it's like an old product. I feel like this has been around forever. I remember buying this, I don't know how many years ago, I think when it first came out, which is how long ago, I do not know. But I swear I was kind of one of the first people to buy this when it originally was released by Benefit. And it's the original Benetint, the rosy tinted color that you're supposed to, a liquid stain that you're supposed to put on your cheeks, put on your lips to give your, you're supposed, it's supposed to give your, your lips kind of a very natural looking blush and your cheeks a very natural looking blush that's just a sheer tint that just kind of lasts and is smudge proof. When I purchased it back then and used it, I didn't get it. I don't know. I didn't get, I didn't get this product because I didn't get how you used it. I kind of didn't get really why everybody thought it was so nice and cool and neat. I don't like it. So why I, why I decided to get it again, I don't know. But this time I decided to try it via sample rather than via exchange of money and I thought I would try it. So this is gonna be my perceptions of a second time around of the Benefit Benetint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off all my makeup kind of from here down and my lipstick and I'll let you see what this looks like on me and I'll give you my perceptions of this particular product. Okay, I'm gonna try this again because we are having a little bit of a lag in audio and video performance right now. I have it on right now. I have some of the blush. I used it as a blush and I'll do it again. I'll just put a couple dots here. You can see it. This is a very kind of runny consistency. It's almost like if you were thinking about putting kind of a cherry colored dye into water. That's what the consistency of this is. Put some on my hand right here. That's the shade of it once it tints your cheeks and your lips. Let me see if I can get the consistency for you. There you go. You can see how kind of runny it is. It looks like a bottle of blood. It does. <laughs> and let me put it again on my lips. I already put it on my lips before, but it didn't film properly. So I'm going to try this again. So I'm going to put a second coat on. So you can see how one of the reasons why I don't like this is with my mature lips, this just makes the cracks and the wrinkles in my lips look worse. I don't know why, but it just does. I'll uh, put some here. Tastes like roses, like I just ate a rose. And because it smells like roses, ugh. I don't mind the smell of rose water, I just don't want to drink it. See, I feel like it looks a little kind of unevenish. I feel like parts of it look redder than others, like my lip. I almost feel like, I don't know. I mean, 
Can't you see kind of how bad that looks? It just looks like I have blotchy areas of some redder than others. And it looks like I had lipstick on previously, maybe wiped my mouth or ate something and wiped most of it off. And this is kind of the remnants of leftover lipstick. Maybe I'm just not a fan of matte lipsticks. Maybe if I put some type of balm on top of this. That's better. I definitely for me like that better. Maybe if you are younger and have big juicy lips that are full, this would look great on, or you're a teenager, or you have a younger daughter who just wants to put, have a little bit of a blush on her cheeks and maybe just tint her lips just a little bit. This would be perfect for them. But for me, in my 50s with wrinkly old lips, I don't like it alone. So for me to be able to use this, the blush aspect of it isn't bad. It does give me a very natural looking, kind of flushed look to my cheeks. However, the lips for me are, have little to be desired. I would have to put a lip balm over this in order for it to work for me. So that was kind of my perceptions of the Benetton. The only problem with this is that it is $30, which I think is a lot of money. However, if you're just looking for something to kind of tint your cheeks, tint your lips, or for a product for a younger girl who maybe doesn't wear a lot of makeup and just wants a little color to her lips and cheeks, this would be perfect for them. Bye-bye from Marla. Have a good night.